Hello students, myself Irak Patel, associated with LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. In this current video lecture series, we are studying subject of Physics Group 1. Till now, in this chapter of superconductivity, we have learned what are superconductors and its discovery along with few properties of superconductors. Also, we have studied Meissner effect in last video. Now, in today's video, we are covering the topics such as types of superconductor and few numerical based on properties of superconductor. So let's start with the first type that is type 1 superconductor. It is also known as soft superconductor. You can see in the figure here only one critical magnetic field is there. Now we know that if the value of magnetic field is less than the critical magnetic field then material should be in superconducting state. If the value of magnetic field is greater than the critical magnetic field then material comes into the normal state. So here you can see in the figure in type 1 superconductor only one critical magnetic field is there. Also we can say that its value is very low. That's why that type 1 superconductor has lower applications in some industries area. Now, let's come to the type 2 superconductor. So here, you can see in the figure, there are two critical magnetic fields there, HC1 and HC2. HC1 is also known as lower magnetic field and HC2 is a upper critical magnetic field. Now, you can see here, if the value of magnetic field is less than HC1, then material should be superconducting state. Value of magnetic field is greater than the upper critical magnetic field then material comes into the normal state. But here in case of type 2 superconductor, the state between HC1 and HC2 is known as mixed state. It is also known as vortex state. Now compared to type 1 superconductor, type 2 superconductor completely exhibits Meissner effect. Here, the value of radical magnetic field in type 2 superconductor is higher than the value of critical magnetic field in type 1 superconductor. That's why this type 2 superconductor is also known as hard superconductor. It has broad applications in industry compared to type 1 superconductor. Now, here, Let's see the difference between type 1 superconductor and type 2 superconductor. So, the first is soft superconductor, it means type 1 superconductor are those which can tolerate impurities without affecting the superconducting properties. Where type 2 superconductor are those which cannot tolerate impurities it means impurity affects the superconducting property. Now, in type 1 superconductor, only one critical field exists. Where in type 2 superconductor, as we have discussed, there are two critical magnetic fields, HC1 and HC2. It is also known as lower critical magnetic field and upper critical magnetic field respectively. Now, type 1 superconductor 
exhibits perfect missional effect where type 2 superconductor doesn't exhibit perfect missional effect the current flows through the type 1 superconductor is through the surface where it is found that the current flows through the type 2 superconductor throughout the material here in type 1 superconductor the value of critical magnetic field is low where in type 2 superconductor value of critical magnetic field is high that's why we can say that type 1 superconductor have limited technical applications because of very low field strength value where type 2 superconductor has wider applications because its high field strength value here you can see the examples of type 1 superconductors are silver zinc where in type 2 superconductor there are two examples niobium germanium and niobium silicon so now let's move towards the other types of superconductor that is lower temperature superconductor and higher temperature superconductor so let's start with the low temperature superconductor here tc stands for critical temperature value so the superconductors that require liquid helium cooler are called low temperature superconductor liquid helium temperature is 4.2k above absolute zero where in high temperature superconductor having their critical temperature values above the temperature of liquid nitrogen which is around 77k this type of superconductors are known as high temperature superconductors now let's see the numerical based on properties of superconductor so let's start with the first numerical the critical temperature of a metal with isotopic mass 199.5 is 4.185 k calculate isotopic mass of if critical temperature falls to 4.133 k so here the given data is m1 is equal to 199.5 which is isotopic mass at critical temperature value of 4.185k so here tc1 equals to 4.185k here tc2 is equals to 4.133k so we want to find the isotopic mass at critical temperature 4.133k now we know that critical temperature is inversely proportional to the square root of isotopic mass as we have discussed in the properties of superconductor so we can say that tc is inversely proportional to 1 by root m so we have tc1 into m1 raised to 0.5 Equals to Tc2 into M2 raised to 0.5. Now we want to find M2. So M2 raised to 0.5 equals to Tc1 by Tc2 into M1 raised to 0.5. Now you can put the values of M1, Tc1, and Tc2 in a whole equation and subtract M2. So you can find the isotopic mass at 4.133k here the answer is m2 equals to 204.55 now 
Let's discuss the other numerical. The critical temperature of neodymium is 9.15 K. At zero Kelvin temperature, critical magnetic field is 0.196 Tesla. Calculate the critical value or critical magnetic field at 6 Kelvin. So here, first of all, the value of magnetic field at 0 K is given and that is 0.196 T. So obviously, at C0 equals to 0.196 T. The value of critical temperature is given. Tc equals to 9.15 K. And we want to find the value of critical field that is at C. But at given temperature, that T is equal to 6 K. Now, we know the formula of critical magnetic field that is at C equals to at 0 bracket 1 minus T by TC ratio whole square. So simply we have to put the all of above values of at C0, T and TC in above equation and you can easily find the value of critical magnetic field at 6 K temperature. So here the answer is at C equals to 0 0.1117 Tesla. So in this video we have discussed the types of superconductor that is type 1 and type 2. Type 1 superconductor is also known as soft superconductor. In type 1 superconductor there is only one critical magnetic field exists. Its critical magnetic field value is low. Where in type 2 superconductor there are two critical magnetic fields exist at C1 and at C2. They have wider applications because its value of critical magnetic field is higher compared to type 1 superconductor. Then we have discussed lower temperature superconductor and higher temperature superconductor. And also we have discussed two numericals based on the two formula that is TC inversely proportional to 1 by rho 10 and at C equals to at 0 bracket 1 minus T by TC whole square. Now in the next video we will learn about the BCS theory and coherence length. That BCS theory is also known as mechanism of superconductivity. So that's it for today's session. Thanks for watching.